Okay, you guys, so are you ready to see the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blushes swatched on my face? If you're new to my channel, my name is Jordana and I do beauty videos. Recently, I filmed clips of me wearing all of my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer blushes on my face and I would redo my foundation and swatch them on my face again and again as I did with the Laura Mercier powder blushes. So I'm planning to, since I love blush so much, do cheek products videos swatch on my face so that you can see the range of colors that I own in my collection and then you can see which one to purchase. So today I have seven Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer blushes. They were all sent to me but I've been using two shades the longest which I got a set last year at the end of the year a holiday set and it came with coastline which is I have to say my favorite shade and then southbound and then recently they sent to me five more shades because I requested them for this video I'm impressed I saw reviews later after I filmed my my swatches on my face I heard people talking about these blushes and some of them said that they would set quickly and that they were difficult to blend I find that they do set and for me that's a positive not a negative people were complaining that this is a tinted moisturizer blush which means that it should have been more glowy but I disagree. I think that it has to have pigment. It has to be a little bit sheer to show your skin, but it will also have to set in order for it to last. I'm the type of person that do not love a cream blush that it's sticky when you apply it and that it's so, so creamy that after you blend it into your skin, your hair will get stuck to it. If you're the same as me or you like cream blushes or liquid blushes, the jazz, Keep on watching. Okay, so right now I'm reading from the Laura Mercier website and they have here 14 shades. I have, like I said, seven shades, but I will tell you each of the shades, the description of the color that you will be seeing while I'm swatching them on my cheeks. So the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush delivers a soft, sheer glow with the skincare power magic of a moisturizer. It does look beautiful on the skin. It tends to look hydrating when you're putting it on your skin. And maybe it has skincare benefits, I don't know. I don't know about that. But it does set on your skin. So you have to do one cheek at a time. And the way that I use it is that I squirt a little bit on my hand. Then I grab a brush and buff it into the brush on the back of my hand. And then I start to do one cheek at a time. Sometimes I will dab it on the other cheek. Most of the time I will do one cheek and then the other one. Because I don't want this one to set blotchy because it it just set before I go to the other cheek and disclaimer also I'm not wearing any of the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer blushes but I have the clips and I wanted to make do with the makeup that I'm wearing on my face today so I wanted to talk about that the shades that they have right now are Le Piscine, Southbound, Province, Promenade, Mediterranean if I'm pronouncing them incorrectly it's because this is French and I'm Colombian so just hang on Corsica, Coastline, Parasol, Croisette, Cherry Orchard, Mistral, Sun Drench, French Riviera, and Soleil. These, you guys, what they have, and I haven't tried them on my little sisters. They are they have super deep skin. One has tan deep skin and the other one has deeper skin and they have a warm skin tone and a cool skin tone so it would be super fun to try these on them but on myself i find them to look beautiful and you can actually build them up if you go a small amount at a time the brushes that i love to use with them are the angie hot and flashy the the collab with bk beauty the one that is for the blush uh, that is slanted or the jacqueline hill morphe brush that looks the same way it's slanted brush and I love to end my blending with my beauty blender if I need to do so but I prefer working them on my skin with a brush and you will see me using the same brush and cleaning it time after time while I'm doing each of the shades and you will see one color at a time because I will redo my foundation and then add the other color more details that they have on their website it says put the finishing pads on any no makeup makeup look with just a hint of natural long lasting cheek color and i would have to agree 
it's an effortless formula it's just that as the caviar sticks they're effortless but if you start to do both eyes at a time one will set and then you will have a hard time blending the other eye it has hydration with raspberry seeds that help to condition while prickle pear contains a high content of water building compounds for ultimate skin hydration it comes with 14 adaptable shades that give every skin tone a barely flush, just pinch glow. I have to say that the deeper colors look more than if I were just pinched. Okay. The claims are that easy building coverage. For me, I found that it was easy to build up. It gives you soft skin or you can feel that your skin still feels soft after applying them. I didn't pay attention to that, but my skin would look beautiful and that they were weightless. And this is for me the biggest claim. You don't feel like you're wearing anything as you do with the tinted moisturizers from Laura Mercier. You can use this on lips, cheeks, and eyelids. And from time to time when I'm wearing one of them, I will use them on my lips as a tint. And the colors that I love to use for that are Croissette and Parasol, which are more on the fuchsia or pinky dark tone shades because they have this beautiful finish, beautiful reddish tone to it, which looked like I was beaten by cold. This retail for $30. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is that I actually, when I came in on the website, I saw that they have a holiday set with minis of it. And this set is $36 and it comes with three shades. And the shades are Southbound, Province and Promenade. Those are completely different shades from one another. So if you want to try them, now it's the way to go. You can even purchase them at Sephora with the 20% discount that they will give for the VIP Rouge. And that little small set, which I'm going to put someplace on the screen, com comes with two creme finishes and one shimmer finish. Let's just go ahead and talk about each of the shades. So I'm going to start with the shimmer finishes and I'm going to start to describe the shades. Every color, when it's not super pigmented and potent like the rare beauty blushes that are highly highly pigmented every color will look different depending on your skin tone i have here corsica and this is a shimmer finish and it's described as a sparkling peach you pay $30 for 15 ml or half a fluid ounce and i've been using and abusing coastline for months and you guys this still looks like i have it completely full i even recommended it to two of my best friends because it's just beautiful croissette is a shimmering garnet and this is one that I can use on the lips as well as on the cheeks because I love the color of it on the lips. And this is the perfect beachy type of color that you would wear so that you would look sunburned and awake. The two finishes that they come with i have three right here that are the creme finish and then the shimmer finish which i didn't see quite that big of a difference when it came to uh them except for the the creme finish have more of a milky finish to the skin and are more matte than the shimmery ones Mistral is one of my favorites because it has this tone that it's an everyday tone and it's described as a shimmering warm rose color. So this suits my skin tone wonderfully no matter the eye look. For another one that I love to put on my lips as well is the shade Parasol and this is described as a shimmering fuchsia and again it's another one that I could wear uh, on a beachy day only with tinted moisturizer or even SPF on my cheeks and on my lips.
and now let's just see the cream finishes that I have which I have three shades one of them being my favorite so the first one which is one of my favorites Provence is described as a pale pink nude and this is the perfect type of matte shade again that happens to me with coastline as well I prefer nude blushes and this is the one that I would use with a black smoky eye or a brown smoky eye when I want my blush not to be the center of attention and I find it to be beautiful but this is definitely for lighter skin tones Southbound is one that I've had for the same amount of time as Coastline and this came in a duo last year. I love this one mixed with Coastline as well and this is described as a peachy pink. So this is your orgasm shade but without the shimmering formula. This is the type of color that you can wear on an everyday basis that will make you look more awake. And then last but not least, this is my favorite shade and this is Coastline and it's described as a cappuccino. Uh, it looks deeper at the Laura Mercier website than how it does on my skin and you saw my face and you're seeing my face while I'm swatching this on my cheeks and I even do a chef's kiss because this is so lovely. If I would have to recommend one shade um, from all of these, it would be Coastline for sure. Okay, so my final thoughts on the formula, if you learned how to apply them and you saw that it wasn't that hard, this could be your go-to blushes. And I love that the packaging is a squeezy tube. I love that they are sheer enough that you can use them on an everyday basis. So you could have just one color and use it every single day and enjoy it. You guys, I find that these are worth it and that for me, the reason why I keep working with Laura Mercier and that I actually request the products that I want to review on my channel and then from time to time they will send me, they will send me PR, but I usually request the products that I want to review. It's because I already have a feel for the Laura Mercier line and the thing is that I always mention this, but they are a classic type of brand. Most of the products that they do, some people when they find them boring, I find them reliable. I always want to be using brands that it doesn't matter the product that I get, I can find that I can make it work either for myself or for my clients with different skin tones, skin types, and different textures on their skin. I truly have been liking these. I've been testing the bronzers and I will have two more weeks to test them out. And then the Tinted Moisturizer bronzers, I mean from Laura Mercier. And if you would like to see me swatching them on my skin, because I have five shades out of the six that they come with, I would love to do so because that has become my most natural looking blush when I'm the palest that I am, since I have the lightest shade. And they also have different undertones when it comes to their bronzers so if you would like to see that please let me know below because I would love to do that for you guys I'm already filming a few clips here and there when I'm using them on my get ready with me's but I'm in love with the formula I just have to remind you guys make sure that you do one cheek at a time and then you use your brush blend them in the back of your hand and then apply them on your cheeks because they will be buffed into the brush first the application will be way easier that's it for this video you guys I will leave 
every single color that I own in the comment section below. Remember that my favorites are province and coastline, but if I had to choose only one and keep only one, and it's the one that I've used the most, is definitely coastline, which is described as the cappuccino. All of the links in my description box are affiliate links. I will leave links for the Laura Mercier website as well as Sephora. And I'm also gonna leave the trio of minis that they release for the holidays. So you can purchase that maybe when they have the Sephora VIP sale. If you subscribe your email to the Laura Mercier website, they always every time I'm going in they always have 15% off 20% off so you can also take advantage of that if you don't want to wait for the VIP sale to try this out thank you for the support on my channel remember that I post beauty videos every week I love you and I guess I'll see you on the next one bye bye